Hey guys, this is Chaos Pure Tape, and today you join me with my latest contraption. This is an air-powered plane. It works by using these B9 um, compressed air thruster nozzles, um, which use uh, intake air and a little bit of electric charge to keep them running, but basically that means this is a completely self-sufficient space plane. Um, that could only really, well not space plane, just plane. Um, it's, this one is just my first crude attempt, so it's kind of terrible. Um, and doesn't go forward very well, and crashes a lot. Um, as you can see here, didn't even take off. Um, I have tried recording this many times, and it only worked in testing, so I got very annoyed at this, so I have prepared another one. Um, that actually did work in testing. I don't know why it's crashed. This is like my fifth record attempt, because this has been crash crashing, but um, I'm just gonna skip over that, because I have a better one. This is the manned version which we will be sending out onto the runway. Basically, um, the point of this is that you have a completely self-sustaining plane, and this uses RTG so it can fly at night. Um, so yeah, I think it's... A lot of people have built uh, solar-powered planes, but on this game, solar-powered planes use xenon gas, so they're not fully... Um, well, they're not fully... Uh, what is it? Reusable. Not reusable, sustainable. Um, whereas this... Um, it could technically be a solar-powered plane, but this one's much better. It's not solar-powered. It's powered by RTGs. Um, and this one takes off much more slowly, but it does indeed fly. Um, this has a SAS block at the back, kind of for torque, partly just to put some mass in because the center of mass was way too far forward because I have tried to make this fairly light. Um, this one seems to be again listing off to the left, but it takes off much more. No, oh, come on. No, 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 don't crash. Oh, SAS isn't on. <sighs> that was... Okay, that's good. But yeah, basically, um, this could fly anywhere. It could, well, not to space, because obviously that's the problem. It can't fly very high, because you can see up here, there's intake air and B9 compressed air, which seems to be running out, and it doesn't turn very well because it lacks thrust. So you have to turn kind of carefully. Um, I also don't think it would be much good for ramming those buildings, which was a thought that popped into my mind. But yeah, it does fly, which is pretty impressive considering it's completely self-sustaining. So, if you have the patience, you could fly this all the way around Kerbin. Or, if you have a rocket, you could fly it all the way around Lathe, um, which would be a slightly easier task, although flying out to Lathe would be a difficult task. Although it's not that difficult, but anyway. Um, but yeah, this was just a kind of weird thought I was having. Um, I was like, B9 do air thrusters, so yeah. So, yeah, you could build... Um, uh, as long as you have B9, you can build these planes. Um, so, yeah, it's it's pretty it's a pretty good way of it's a pretty efficient way of traveling and very light. These are incredibly lightweight planes, which is necessitated by the lack of thrust, um, which I don't know why I'm saying it so weirdly, but I am. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a fairly light plane, and I could bring it into land now if I don't lose control of it, like a moron. Um, I'll just land on the grass because. When it's a light plane, it's fairly easy to land it anywhere. So this would be a pretty good method of just reaching anywhere that has, you know, oxygen atmosphere. So anywhere on Kerbin, it's, you know, fairly light. You could probably just throw a parachute on it. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible to get um, a thrust-to-weight ratio of above, um, uh, of, of above one. So it would be probably impossible to make, like, a vertical rocket sort of thing with it. And as you get higher, you run out of air. Unlike a jet engine that get, gets more efficient, um, this just runs out of air. So it'll just, they'll, you'll lack thrust. And it's not really, it doesn't really matter about efficiency with this because it has a really terrible efficiency, technically. But, um, um, but because, the air, because it's just using air and throwing it out the back, it's basically infinitely efficient because it doesn't burn anything. Um, it just, you know, just kind of moves stuff. But yeah, it would make a pretty terrible rocket because you run out of air quite quickly. As I can just demonstrate right now um, how quickly it runs out of air. Oh god, I should have built a faster plane. It might just hit the ocean first, um, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I do have something else prepared. Um, I wanted to see how fast you could get this sort of thing to go. So um, in my next uh, little bit of the test, I will be showing you uh, how fast I managed to get something. I didn't put a huge amount of effort in. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I try to fly vertically, and the air just runs out pretty damn quickly, 
which, you know, not ideal if you want to go up. And then it just starts to fall back to Kerbin. But because this is a plane, it could just land fairly safely. Um, so, oh, shiza. <laughs> Germans wearing. That's what I'm going for. Uh, yeah, so, and it's really maneuverable. I do quite like this as a plane, actually. It's a shame it flies so slowly. Um, but after I've landed this safely, um, I'll show you something that flies a little less slowly, um, but also does a little less important stuff. But yeah, so this is a nice idea for um, moving your kerbals around, um, well, either lathe or kerbin, really. Um, although technically, it should work on any atmospheric world, because it doesn't combust the air. Um, it could work on Joule or Eve. I don't. I doubt that it would, because it's not intake air, in air quotes, but it's intake gas, so it should technically work. I may try that out. All right, now we've got an air, a high-speed air-powered plane. I will talk through this on the runway. It has no wheels. Wheels are too heavy, even though they're physicsless, but basically the wheels were too big for this. It would just be cumbersome. Um, this is made mostly of oct octagonal struts, um, which is annoying because they're physicsless and don't weigh anything. So all the thrust is in these RCS ports. Well, not all the thrust. Um, all the mass is basically in these RCS ports and these small parts. That's also physics physicsless, so kind of a problem. But yeah, this was basically my answer to going fast in one of these planes. Um, so I'll start firing up the thrusters and let it go. And yeah, just goes right off, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of fly it forward. And you can see we're already up to 100 meters per second, which is pretty good for a self-sufficient um, plane. Uh, yeah, this has no bells or whistles. Um, can't land. Well, it can. Probably, it might be able to land, but probably not very well. Um, but yeah, it basically just goes fast. You can see we're almost at 200 meters per second. There we go, 200. That's the barrier of nothing. I wonder if it would be possible to break the sound barrier with this. Um, I'm not going to attempt that in this video. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're watching this and, you know, play KSP and have some experience with B9, then, um, or not even experience, if you know how to install B9, which is very easy, um, you just get the B9 aerospace pack and then download it, put it in the game data folder. Um, I implore you to try this, um, and if you do better than me, which is currently 212 meters a second, and I'm going to go into a dive to get it as fast as possible, um, yeah, I guess, well, it's not really a challenge, but I guess it could be a challenge. Um, there's 255, two, it's starting to lose control, though, is something I've been finding. Um, 270, and then we lose control, um, and it dies. But yeah, um, I think I got up to about 268 meters a second, so maybe you should try this, and if you do better than that, just put it in the comments and be like, yeah, I'm better than you. Um, because, you know, always fun to try stuff. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's not been a particularly full video, but I hope it's been somewhat interesting. What is that over there? Oh, a missile plane. Cool. Um, yeah, so this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.